Hello, everybody. Today I'm here with the next set of levels for Dr. Mario World. And I had a, a little bit of a problem with a few of these, but for the most part, uh, most of them went fine. And oftentimes I just ended up having to wait for a couple more lives to actually be able to progress. Just some of them took a few tries is all. But this is not one of the ones that took a few tries. Uh, the majority of this level, as you can see, are these red rotating cannons and th basically the way I cleared them was just in columns. I just kept placing on reds and they would just kind of keep going until I got rid of them all. In the beginning it's a little awkward to get into that spot. I think I ended up breaking it in through the top uh, even though I tried to go through the sides. And now I just start bringing on reds, and like I said, most of the time it was just me breaking in through the top. Not many of the cannons were faced the other way. A few of them were, as you can see there. But for the most part, uh, I just fired the one way. And you kind of just keep going for a while. I really just don't know what else to say. There's some blue coins as well, which requires you to just get rid of all of the, uh, the barrels. And... There you saw, I just got rid of a bunch of barrels with some blues. And I'm a little worried on points, just because you can see there's quite a big gap in between these here. I'm using reds to hit the final barrels because I don't need the reds anymore. But I think they end up giving me a lot of yellow, so I use those at this side. And then we just clear that final one there. Ten capsules was apparently enough to do it. Again, I was worried, but it ended up working out. I have no idea how close I was. Like I said, that was my first try, so I really don't know how many points I needed to three star. But we move on to the next one, and another one that I beat on my first try, and I, it gave me hope, and then as we kept going, I kept having to retry them over and over again. Uh, but the first two went well, and the idea at the, at, at this one is there's going to be a lot of electric boxes, or I guess green coins, as they're officially called, I think. Um, and you're going to just want to clear out all of the cannons uh, and try and get everything on the same rotation I would say just makes it a little easier in the long run and then just start working your way down a lot of floating viruses and you do need to clear everything on the stage so all the coins are going to have to go uh, I guess you wouldn't technically have to get rid of all the coins, but literally everyone is touching a virus, so you would have to. The coins are basically acting as a block in this situation. Uh, but you could bring in someone like Baby Wario, I guess, and just take out a bunch of these green and purple coins if you wanted to. But really, it's just grinding at this point. Um, not a lot of strategy involved in what I'm doing here. Uh, I guess with those blues, I wanted to clear all three of those blues at the same time. So I made sure to clear it in the middle. Only using two capsules for all three of them. And you can see I'm going to get three stars without having to um, do anything extra or get any capsules. But I'm clearly going to end with some extra capsules anyways. And I've got a pretty even spread of all the colors as well. Um, you will notice at the bottom, all of these viruses still have two hits left in them, so I'm probably going to want to hit those first. There's a chance that some will line up to, next to each other and make it a little easier. I think the reds actually end up doing it, but none of the other ones do. And I think I get a bunch of yellows, and I just need to get past this blue real quick. And then we just need more and more blue. 
Uh, luckily, there's a rainbow capsule. I, I didn't get to see if that rainbow capsule had a blue on it before. If it didn't, I would be very sad, but uh, in the long run, it just gave me a rainbow capsule, so it worked out. But yeah, I almost lost that one because it just would not give me a blue there. But we move on. And this one I thought was really tricky and was honestly a little worried that I wasn't or it was going to take a while to clear and then I just ended up beating it. I don't remember exactly what I did but we're going to watch it together. Uh, so I go for this blue lock right away as one would typically and probably should do. And with these extra capsules I have I just set them up to clear the red and the yellows on either side. And then you need to get rid of all the purple coins. And sometimes you get super lucky with the viruses inside of the um, red and yellow cages, like right there. I can just use one single capsule on the red, and also on this side I can use one single capsule on the blue. But that's not always the case, and you will have to clear that with a few more capsules. And that might cost you a run, honestly. But I would recommend getting this red lock if you can. Just hope that on your round there is a red next to the red lock, which makes it very easy to clear. Actually, I think that might be like required. Like the level always has that one as a red. I, I, I think so. And then once you get rid of all the locks, you're going to have a few coins at the bottom here. You're going to want to go for those right away, and then the other two sets of coins will unlock as well. Uh, I would recommend clearing the yellow virus at the same time as you clear all the coins. Like, I placed that one on top, but I wouldn't go on the top. I'd go horizontally, and I'll bring down a yellow eventually. Uh, I was trying to be cautious of some of my capsules with um, that rainbow capsule. Because like I said, I played this one a few times. Uh, I didn't always get very close, so I was really worried about this one. But you can see here, all I've got left is red and blues. The problem is I have a bunch of blues and not enough reds to clear it in time. But I just book it and I bring out as many reds as I can. And then bring back as many blues as I can. And obviously, I'm going to get three stars. And we had five capsules remaining, so pretty good in the long run, but yeah, I, I played that one before where there were just like multiple uh, ice viruses still on st stage that were like fully iced yet. So I was a little worried, but it, it worked out. You know, this one was also one that I was kind of afraid of, but I thought to myself, I feel like Fire Rosalina would be super easy for this one, and I was absolutely right. Seriously, if you if you haven't tried bringing in Fire Rosalina, and especially if you're having a hard time on the stage, try her because the stage is pretty small, all in all, and there's some really cramped sections. And what Fire Rosalina does is just gets rid of all of the clutter, lets you get into areas you normally won't be able to get into, either faster or just at all. Like the whole section is just gone. And also, if she clears stuff next to the bubblers, you don't have to worry about anything getting bubbled as well, which is very nice. Which kind of defeats the purpose of bringing in Morton, because she can kind of just do the same thing, just a little differently. And really, the, the stage isn't, about, isn't so much about clearing things yourself, it's about letting Fire Rosalina clear the hard sections for you. And then in the meantime, just clearing whatever you can um, to get more points and then use her skill again. And the best way to ensure that she hits what you wanted to hit is to get rid of everything except for what you wanted to hit. And in the future, uh, one time I will use her skill and it will be very unhelpful because I didn't follow this rule. Um, but yeah, if you need to save her... Um, her skill for a couple of moves, do not be afraid to do it if it will ensure that she hits a good area. If you're very close to clearing a virus that's all by itself, there's a chance she will hit it. So avoid doing that. Another thing about the bubblers is um, it's really not a big deal if things do get bubbled because 
Again, your hope is that Fire Rosalina will just deal with that for you. And you don't need to worry about it. I guess I didn't even mention there are extra point capsules, uh, or extra capsule pieces on stage. There was the time that I left that blue, and it ended up kind of... I, I got very worried at this point. I was like, am I going to get her skill again? But anyways, there are extra capsule... Um, what do I call them? <laughs> it's very late. Um, extra capsule pieces, I guess is what I call them. And there's one right there. Sometimes you get lucky and have the colors you need. A lot of the times you don't. And right here, I just barely get like one capsule from it. But it's enough to get uh, her skill one last time. And then I just need a couple of blues here. I was so genuinely worried that I wasn't going to have enough points. Like on the two capsules left, we're still a, kind of a scary distance away from the third star. Uh, I don't think I'd ever beat it before. I don't think it actually took me that many tries. It was probably like two or three tries, but still. It was very uh, daunting, I guess. That was my first try with Fire Rosalina as well. And this one actually recommends bringing Fire Rosalina. I can't see how you could possibly beat this with Fire Rosalina, but maybe she's good. This one took me a very long time. Uh, and I guess if I had five hearts, it probably took me about five tries, honestly, but I just kept playing it as soon as I got a new heart, so it felt like it was taking forever. Uh, but you really just need to be very conservative with your capsules. If you bring in point boosting assistance, there's no way you won't get three stars. Uh, I saw a video by like Skill Gaming, I think is the channel, and they somehow did not get three stars. I was very surprised. Because it feels like it's kind of it's just kind of giving you the three stars. But anyways, I'm bringing Wendy because I don't see how this level can be possible without like Koopa Troopa or Wendy. Because there's so many blocks on stage. Sometimes I'd complete the level and I would say I had like 30 uh, pink coins left, and I'd be like, "That's insane." But really, the um, what will make or break your round is how quickly you get all of the locks. If you can get them ver all very quickly. That means that Wendy is consistently hitting all the blocks for you. You get to hit them as well as you clear the viruses. And um, in the end, you most likely will win if you get the locks very early. And it's very difficult sometimes to get down to that yellow section. There's a lot of yellow stuff in your way. Um, here what I do is get rid of that red one. So that that crate is removed from uh, above the yellow electric bomb. Hitting that removes all the yellow ones, and now nothing is down there. I bring in a double yellow and clear that out. I also get a double blue, which is able to get the other lock. Now, like I said, that's a fairly early... Um, all I, I got all the locks fairly, fairly early. You de could definitely do better, and it, you'd probably um, end up winning... Are you be much more confident in your win? But I think that's probably the earliest I'd ever gotten it, so at this point I'm like very cautious of what I'm doing. Uh, I really should have just started working on the bottom row and entirely focusing on the capsules no matter what I was doing. Also, those cannons on the sides can be very helpful, but as soon as one of the blocks in the rows uh, gets depleted of all of its coins, the cannon will stop once it hits that. So you can see here, oh, not yet, but in a second, I kind of ruin it. Yeah, so now that one is, is blocked. I can only hit one um, block if I ended up triggering that cannon on the right side as well. But I do just put that red down because I really don't need it for anything else. At this point, I really need to focus on getting this final yellow. Uh, I blow up some stuff, which gives me a good amount of points. Really, my entire focus is getting uh, Wendy skill one last time because all the blocks just have a single hit left in them. So if I can get Wendy skill, it'll be over. And I do get it, so. Sometimes I was just really not close at all and somehow I ended up with three capsules on that one. So, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. You really just gotta get lucky sometimes and that's what happened there. So, I will try to attempt the final levels and upload them today as well. So thank you for watching, I will see you then.